Morning people, my name is James Longdon from Modano and this is just a quick introductory video just to give you a kind of overview of the software, how it works, what the benefits are and, and so on. Now the Modano add-in basically puts your Excel on steroids. So it pretty much allows you to fulfill any modeling task in an incredibly robust and efficient manner. It also allows you to make your models more dynamic, highly modular, incredibly scalable and, and automatically best practice in fact. So when most people think of financial models, they will think of them in terms of a unitary thing. This is my financial model. It is a template or it is a, a single unit. For us at Madano, we think of things in slightly more modular terms. So your financial model might be broken up into 25 pieces. One of those might be a corporate tax module. Now, the number of people modeling in the city at the moment, there's probably 25 people modeling corporate tax in Melbourne as we speak, and of those, probably 20 of them are really struggling, five are probably even getting it wrong. For us, if I need to insert a corporate tax schedule into a model, I can simply click insert module and Madonna will do it for me. It will look at the scale of the model and, and automatically handle an incredible amount of the, the logic infrastructure assumption formats and so on for me. So yeah, essentially the, the Madonna add-in allows you to build, manage and maintain models on a, a highly modular basis incredibly efficiently and and a lot of the best practice is automatically taken care of. Now what we might do is just just have a quick run through. Um, so if we hop across to Excel. Okay so as you can probably see from my Excel with the Madano add-in I'm shown a few additional tabs. I've got the Madano tab which allows me to handle the, the kind of modular overarching structure of my model. Build tab allows me to get my hands dirty and, and work with some of the lower level dynamic aspects and then the tools are really a whole bunch of accessories and bits and pieces that allow me to kind of get into the more hardcore building. You don't necessarily need to use the build or tool tabs. You can build an insanely complex and robust financial model using just the Madano tab. So for example let's just look at uh, a fairly simple instance of building out some revenue. Let's just keep it pretty simple. If I want to insert anything into my model, I can just hop across to the Madano tab, click insert. And if I do insert from web, what that will actually do is show me the 30,000 odd modules that we have currently sitting on our server up, up there in the cloud. Now I'm going to keep things pretty simple and I'm just going to go with generic chart of accounts one, unit prices for revenue, and we'll just go with the quarterly time series. There's a few different alternatives around sales tax and variations around presentation formats in terms of single components versus separate assumptions and outputs. We'll just go for single components to keep things nice and skinny. Now, as soon as I click insert, what the software will do is, is almost look at the infrastructure of that module and build it out robustly into a, a best practice shell for me. As soon as this module is inserted, I've got an overview sheet. I've got a, an overarching set of time series assumptions, some lookups and checks. In the first instance, my module has been built. It's got blue assumptions for where I am supposed to be typing content as opposed to kind of output cells that are just shown here in white. Now we'll just whiz through and populate this with three unit prices and, and a set of volumes. And as you can see, A times B gets me to my revenue piece. So nothing too complex there. Now what the Madano software allows you to do is to then scale things automatically. So let's say, for example, I want another two revenue categories. The software allows me via the right click menu to quickly and efficiently add these new categories in. And as you can see, it not only stretches out the unit prices, but also the volumes and obviously the revenue as well. So the category level scalability of the software is incredibly powerful and dynamic. Over and above that, I've also got access to, to automated time series. So for example, at the moment, this model is eight quarters. If I wanted a model that was, say, 12 quarters, all I have to do is change the term of the model from 8 to 12. Again, software hops in, does all the work for me and stretches my model out in terms of additional assumption areas, all the calculations and so on. So that is level one of the software. Modularity, the ability to insert modular content and then also scale it up um, nice and efficiently. And that scalability isn't just in terms of adding categories. I can right click and delete them. Um, I can add multiple and, and so on. So it's highly dynamic. Now, the important thing to note is that this is it's still Excel. So you get to leverage your Excel abilities in a more robust and systematic basis. And what I mean by that is you can come in and let's say, for example, we wanted to look at the total revenue for the first category. As soon as I type in a calculation, software hops in and actually says, that's great. I'm going to increase that consistency and give you that calculation for all instances. Not only that, if I then right click and add another category, my new calculations are automatically managed for me. The software allows you to actually um, leverage your own Excel capabilities and build incredibly dynamic content. Now, as I mentioned earlier, part of the power of the system is the fact that it is modular. 
So you can do incredibly powerful things when you um, stop thinking about models as, as templates or unitary things uh, and start to get into the, the modular mindset. Now, at the moment, I might have a single business unit. Let's just assume I've got another couple of business units. Software allows me to build that scale out automatically. So if I come up to the Modano tab again and I click on mirror, what that will do is build out another couple of instances of this revenue module. And I can go through and, and, and populate these um, quickly and efficiently. The thing you'll notice here is that the new calculation that I had put in for my revenue has also been replicated in my new content. Not only that, but if I were to add in a new calculation that said, well, OK, tell me what my sum of volumes are. As soon as I enter that in one category for one revenue module, you'll see Madano again hops in and stretches that out for me and gives me that consistency. So your ability to actually build and manage models um, absolutely skyrockets with the Modano system. It's in incredibly powerful. And not only that, but we can also work with different scales. So for example, if we dial the third revenue module back to just two categories, I can insert a new calculation that might look at, say, this, the, the sum of all volumes. And the software will differentially handle that new piece of logic across all of my mirrored modules. So insanely powerful modeling capabilities. So at this point, our model has three revenue modules. Now, let's just ratchet this up. Let's now insert, say, an income statement. In this instance, it's just chart of accounts one, so nothing too complex. But as soon as I insert this income statement module, what the software will do is not only build out an income statement module for me, it will also look around the rest of the model and say, well, great, we've got some revenue here. Let's pull that in automatically. So the software doesn't just insert content on a standalone modular basis. It also has a comprehensive linking mechanism that allows it to automatically link modules in a, in a serial fashion. And this principle is really at the heart of Modano. So Modano really allows you to actually plug and play and string insane numbers and combinations of modules together to build incredibly robust and dynamic financial model. So far, this has been fairly simple. As an example, we've got, uh, you know, a few revenue modules, we've got an income statement. Maybe we'll look at something a little bit more complex in this instance, which is corporate tax. So for us, again, we just think of things in a modular basis. Corporate tax to us is just a standalone module. So as soon as I click Madano, insert from web and choose the corporate tax, the software will look at the infrastructure of that module and build the whole thing out for me. It'll pull in my net profit before tax, run it through a comprehensive tax calculation and then work out a, a, a tax expense that I can ping across back into my income statement. Now, as you can probably start to appreciate, once you start building models on this dynamic modular basis, your ability to model even the most complex business, either of your own or, or for one of your clients, um, really kind of escalates. Now, slight confession, we don't tend to build models by inserting module by module. Our approach tends to be to start with a starting dynamic template. For us, a starting template still has modularity. So if we open up, say, a new dynamic template and we'll still stick with forecast only, if we have a look at what this model is made up of, I can click across to the build tab and click on the project manager. And as you can see, whilst this is a finished product, it is still made up of a, of a modular basis. I can easily click down into, say, an individual equity module. I can double click on the assumptions and that will take me to where that content is within my Excel model. Likewise, I can click back into the project manager and have a look at how this module is linking into the rest of the model. So if I click on the links icon, it will show me where the equity module is getting its information and also where it's kicking it out. And the benefit of a modular model is more than just within the software itself. In terms of information structure, having a modular model forces you to have much more rigorous um, connections between your main areas of your model. And it allows you to avoid the classic modeling problem, which is the spider web. So the number of models you will have looked at that have just mess everywhere, modularity forces you to have a much more robust and explicit structure. Now, even though this model is a finished product, we still have the benefits of modularity. So for example, if we hop in and look at the revenue mechanism in this model, it's a fairly simple amounts based principle. If we wanted to replace this small piece within the model, we can actually again click to Modano. If we click on replace from web, we can replace this revenue module with something that might better suit our business. And again, this is this is comprehensive replacement without us having Having to get our hands dirty. As soon as that module is, is rebuilt into our existing model, it's hooked into our income statement, it's hooked into our debtors, and it, it's treated on a, on a very robust and, and plug and play basis. So the, the software really allows you to handle models at a very logical, modular kind of dynamic level.
And this doesn't just relate to replacing pieces. You can also build out from here. So for example, if you wanted to have a valuation in your model, all you have to do is click up, insert from web and choose the valuation module. And the software again will just build this out for you um, fairly automatically. So there you have it. That is the hurricane introduction to the Modano system. There is a huge depth to the system. This is really scratching the surface, trying to give you the uh, initial starting uh, kind of takeaway concepts. What we'll look at in other videos are things like rolling time series, uh, multi-business units, scenarios, sensitivities, things like that. But um, for those of you that are new to Modano, uh, hopefully this video has been pretty insightful and piqued your interest as to how efficiently you can now build models. So thanks for listening.